Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this review, we are looking at the Storm Collectibles 2020 Event Exclusive Limited Edition Mortal Kombat Scorpion. And as far as I can tell, this is meant to be a Mortal Kombat 2 Scorpion, which they've already made one sort of version, kind of. And so this is a, kind of an interesting release. I know a lot of people are looking forward to this because the original one is kind of hard to come by and it's a totally different look from the one that's easy to come by. We're gonna get into all of that as we get into the review, but suffice to say, this figure does a lot of things in a lot of good ways. Uh, a couple things I'm not gonna say are the best of all the different Scorpions they've done. I think some of the other ones do a few things better. We'll talk about that. So let's go ahead and get him off the stand and take a closer look. Uh, this guy stands just about 18 centimeters, which makes him pretty close to seven inches. He's just over seven inches. And I just want to point out one thing still. I can't say still. They changed it. It doesn't say 112th anymore. It just says action series. I'm pretty sure I just reviewed Raiden and his still said 112th. Well, that's interesting. That is interesting. They are no longer 112th scale, even though they never were. All right. Uh, question of the day, which version of Scorpion is your favorite? We said that for Sub-Zero the other day. Uh, for me, my favorite Scorpion, I have to go, I like 10. 10 had a lot of really good designs, but I'm gonna go with the MK3 look. This one, right here, but also the one with that skull mask that was never actually in the game except for the one uh, sprite Im or 2D image that didn't actually become a sprite ever. But I like this. I like this one a lot for him. So that's my favorite. But you guys can let me know which version of Scorpion is your favorite. All right, let's go ahead and talk about the aesthetics on this guy. And I think the first thing we should do is a little bit of comparing. How do you guys feel about that? You guys like comparing, so you should feel warm and fuzzy. All right, here is the original release Scorpion. Here's the new release Scorpion. Let me move the camera so that you can see them better. This one looks so much more like the game sprite. Now I know they're not the exact same sprite, they're not meant to be, but this version even with the tassel over here and the heavier arm pads and things like that, even this version of him should look more like this. The V shape right here seals the deal for me. I couldn't find any and maybe they exist and you guys who are more knowledgeable about MK than I am can let me know. Um, this is never really what they look like. They're the gi or vest, whatever you want to call it, way more triangular shaped. As far as I can tell, this is what it looks like almost all the time, every time of all the times of these classic looking ninjas. Granted, he doesn't have the tie on the side and he does have the different straps and things. This one looks far more sprite accurate than this one does by a lot. I will say though, they did a much better job on the quilting over here. It looks actually like quilting rather than just a bunch of X's. See what I'm saying? But I gotta, I gotta say, as far as sprite accuracy goes, this one takes it for sure. It's also worth noting that the head to chest to arms ratios on this guy, people were concerned about him having big arms back when he released. And he is by far, between these two, more proportionate considerably more proportionate. This guy has shorter legs and humongous arms and kind of a weird shaped head that sticks up with no like traps or anything. So if you compare the two, this one looks really strange, honestly. He kind of has a big peanut, well not a peanut head, a big head that's peanut shaped. What would you call that? A coconut head? Some kind of, some kind of nut head. I think we'll stop there. There's something about the old one that looks so much better overall and it's mostly proportioning. The specific details on the new one look a lot better in a lot of ways. But if you had to pick one of these, as far as I'm concerned, hands down, left one, wins every time. If I was gonna recommend one to you guys, I would recommend this one, if you were trying to decide between the two. That's not the purpose of this figure though, necessarily, so that's all we're gonna say about that. I will do another quick comparison though, just between this guy, who I also think is significantly better proportioned. He's very stocky, probably too stocky still, they tend to do that with all the Storm figures, but as far as I'm concerned, this guy is still far better proportioned than this one. I think in that regard, this is the weakest, and it's in a very serious way. Um, again, the details do look really good. They nailed the quilting. It looks really, really, really clean. I like that a whole bunch. I like the details in the gauntlet thingies, the arm pads, the pants have extra wrinkles in them. Uh, they are all new pieces, by the way. It's not like they reused the thighs or anything like that. Maybe the feet. Are the feet new? Let's check. I didn't check the feet. The feet are also new. So that's cool. 
Okay, so yeah, everything's new, and like I said, the details are fine. Like, if you look at the face, I think they did a good job with the mask and even the face part. I do think his hood is very weird. Very weird. It's, it's way too thick. It sits on top of his head. It makes him have a really weird looking head. Like, it doesn't look like you could actually fit a head in there, except for at the very top, and then you could fit two. I'm exaggerating, but you get what I'm saying? It's definitely not as clean a look. Look at that one. Granted, his has the openness in the back for the posing. So you can see some white poking through. But that looks so much more like a head could fit in it rather than that. Look at the shape of this one. It's so strange. Yeah, I don't know. That's throwing me off a lot. So aesthetically speaking, even though a lot of the details are better on this guy, uh, overall proportions are definitely wacky. And head shape's weird. He's very wide, he has humongous arms and relatively small legs. Like, it's the biggest arm to leg ratio out of all of them. Honestly, I think he's the worst looking of the three overall. I'm gonna give this one, on its own merits, I would give it like a seven. Compared to the other ones, well, I'm not gonna give a number, but the other two look better, we'll call it that. All right, as far as accessories go, that's where this guy shines a lot. He's very shiny in this regard. <laughs> he does come with the chain and spike thingy. Uh, unfortunately, the only way that's going to be useful is if you just pose him like this. Have him, have him holding it. You're not going to be able to use it in any dynamic way, which is a bummer because he doesn't have a rope or a spear or anything else to use in that regard. So that kind of sucks. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of real chains on figures because they don't really do anything. You can't do anything with them because they're all just flaccid. But we do have that. As far as hands go, we have the two fist hands, two gripping hands, two different sets of style pose hands. That's plenty of hands, I think. Uh, we have an alternate head, which is the skull head with the flame. And the cool thing about this is you can pop the flame out of the eyes and off the top of the head if you want it to just look like a skull with flame on the underside. You can do that. And the jaw moves. And I love it. That's all very creative. I love that you can pop the flames out. That's very, very cool. And then we get a bunch of fire accessories, two that go on his arms. That's really nice. We have two that go on the ground around him. Those are all very nice. And then we have one uppercut swooshy one, which is just gigantic. It's a little bit less saturated than the other ones, but it still looks really good. And if Storm has proven one thing, it's that they like energy effects, and I like them for that. Uh, this guy is just loaded with them. I love it. Uh, Accessory-wise, we really should have a spear that's actually can be used for posing uh, or the chain spear, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we don't have that. So I'm going to go 9 out of 10. It's still a really good spread of accessories. Uh, I like that. Okay, as far as articulation goes, they actually did some new stuff on this guy, which is really good. This material in here is a lot softer than it used to be. So that long ball peg that holds the head to the body, you can really put it to work. You can get this guy going all over the place. I mean, I wouldn't do that because it looks bad, but you can do a lot more posing with the neck. Of course, you're gonna have to adjust for it. That's one of the other things I wanted to point out though. The way this head is oriented on the body, you can end up with a lollipop system or syndrome very, very easily. It sits very high on the body and I would much rather the neck be longer, especially since it's squishy anyway. If it wasn't for the hood coming down right here, his head is sitting so high on that neck. So you're gonna have to be very careful while you're posing, but luckily, like I said, it's, it is very usable this time. You can move this thing all over the place. And while most of that's not useful, you can purposefully pose it so that it is useful. So that's pretty cool. And then these guys are still soft, if too small. It's all very soft in here, so that should be fine. The shoulders do connect still on a ball peg and that's very buttery smooth. Shoulders here, that hinge is very buttery smooth. You should have no issues there. Full rotation. Gosh, these shoulders are so creamy. It's like the first batch of figures. They finally, got back to that. For a while, we've been getting a lot of sticky joints from them. These are good. Bicep swivel is very tight and it looks like it doesn't really want to go anywhere. So you're gonna have to really force that and hope it doesn't pop off. Well, I'll force it. Let's see what happens. It worked. All right. Well, there we go. Double jointed elbow on this guy. Let's move the wrist thing out of the way a little bit. Better than 90. That's plenty of good range. I like that a whole bunch. You may have to shuffle this around to make a little bit of space, but that's good. Ball hinge wrists. You'll have no trouble there. We still have our diaphragm joint in here where the whole thing moves around. And it's very flexible, like I said, so you won't have any trouble with that. That is good. We do have a ball peg down here. And it's split at the belt. Actually, is it split? It's connected again. Well, that's okay. You can just grab it from down here. As long as it's not connected at the crotch. It's connected at the crotch. Son of a... <sighs> so this whole V-shaped thing is connected to here. I thought it was a separate piece, but they're connected. See the pegs? See that? 
So that's connected to this, this is connected here, and this should not be, but is connected to the crotch, which means you can't rotate him again. This guy had the same sort of issue. You can't rotate him because it starts to stress his crotch, and you never want to stress the crotch when you move the upper body. This one did it perfectly. Why are they not doing that? Why? It's a separate piece. Oh my gosh, it's not a separate piece. It just has no meat. Okay, well that's interesting. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. There's not a separate piece there either. I always thought it was. I think I thought that. But there's no meat there, so it doesn't really get in the way of anything. But this guy has meat. He's got a meaty crotch. And that's gonna get in the way. Why do they keep doing that? Okay, Storm, come on. Stop connecting everything. All the soft parts shouldn't be connected. Make them separate. Make the crotch piece, if nothing else, separate. It needs to be. Okay, well let's check out the hips. Huh, I swear I remember that being a separate piece on the original release. Oh wow, that took a lot of force, but I got the hips out almost all the way. That should be enough. That'll be okay. Be careful when you're doing that. I've kind of used a lot of force on that one, but it worked out okay. Let's go forward and see how that works out. See, even raising the leg, look, can you, I don't know if you can see that, it's solid black. It's stretching his crotch piece, because it's connected from the front to the back, like a thong, and as soon as I try to move the leg forward, it's stretching against that. So that's very limiting. That's it. That's all you can do without potentially snapping that piece in the middle. So that's really not good. Legs kind of loose going forward and back side to side was okay. Thigh swivel's fine. Double jointed knee is really good. That's nice and it looks like they actually lubed it. That might be why the joints are creamy again. They're lubed up. I like that. And then for the ankle, you can bring it all the way back. That's really good. You can bring it not so far forward. That's not so good. Toe joint is still lousy. Ankle rocker is pretty decent. So this guy is not... Not the one I think most people were hoping for in terms of being a replacement for the original. As far as I can tell, the original is still the best. Uh, well, I like the other one after it too, but this one is not, it doesn't, doesn't hold up as well as I was hoping it would. Articulation on this guy is only gonna get a six. You can't move the legs for crap. That's really disappointing. And even right there, I can't get the head any lower than that. And it's definitely lollipopping. So, Man, I gotta tell you, I thought this one was gonna be a lot better. Even like when I started the review, I thought it was gonna hold its own and it was gonna be like, ah, get whichever one you like the most, they're all awesome. I can't say that. I can't say that at all in good faith. If you're gonna get one of these, not counting price, get the left one, the original one. It's a far superior figure. It's so much better in so many ways. This thing does a few things better, but this one is so much nicer. And then even still, I would go with just getting this one if you don't really care about which version you get. It has its own set of flaws, but honestly, either of the ones on the left are better than this guy. This new release is not good. It has so many weird issues with it, like connecting all of the soft goods, well, they're not soft goods, but the soft plastic to the crotch, terrible idea. Not being able to kick the leg forward, terrible idea. Humongous arms, a very tiny chest, no neck, no sleeves disproportionate weird peanut head this is honestly the worst one and that's very disappointing not counting the accessories so yeah um i'm i'm kind of bummed out i wonder how you guys feel about this i'm guessing a lot of people are like oh hype this is scorpion it's the best figure ever but uh the other ones are both better objectively they're just better and then subjectively for me they're way better but you guys can let me know how you feel about that so i'm gonna give this guy a final verdict of six out of ten his accessories are awesome some of the detail work on here is awesome i like the, the sculpt of the quilting a lot but the head is weird the arms are weird the torso is weird he's got stumpy little legs compared to his giant arms he's got no chest no neck peanut head i don't like it it's very weird subjectively i don't like it objectively it's very weird so <laughs> thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you didn't give it a thumbs down and if you haven't subscribed you probably should i have new videos out almost every single day and thousands already on the channel so make sure you come back for all of that and in the meantime keep collecting